Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Enjoy the video. Ciao. Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Enjoy the video. Ciao. I am considering in the near future perhaps turning this into a kind of stand-up uh, work area, studio area. So that's one thing I'm comp contemplating. And here we are with both the motors again. And first thing I'm going to do is get this black motor. And what I want to do this is off Denny, and what I want to do is I just want to film taking apart the, the wiring, and that will accomplish two things. We'll see how, uh, in what bad condition the wiring is, and I will also be able to, you know, see how it is how it is wired, so that when I rewire it with new wiring or whatever and uh, get back to it. So that's what I'm going to start with now and that is the wire, well that's the light. We know that. There's the motor. Here is the where the foot controller, where the electrical controller fits in. And this is the power cord coming from either the pedal or uh, a receptacle. So, good way to see this. Let me adjust this camera a little more. I've got this thing here so that I know that if I go below that wooden marker, I'm out of view, I'm out of the focus. So this is going to be simple to do because all I got to do is undo these things. Two of them were really loose already anyway. So I'll put them in there. I've got the Denny motor stuff on this side. Oh wow, I'm really zoomed in there. Well, okay, good enough. Enough about that later. And we'll get this one off. So there it is. And then we have this one. I don't know if I'm turning it. So I'm just going to gently There, we got a whirl there. Can you see that? Just nice, I'm not squeezing very tight, just tight enough to to grip it. Let me see what I got now. It's a little sticky, but it, oh, it's getting looser. There we go, it's getting looser now. Cool. So, what we see here is this is the plug from this is the wire from the plug, the foot controller and electrical supply. And there's one going to here, and there's one going to here. Right? And, and we see that there. One to here, and one to there. And then from the light, we have one going to there and we have one going to the first one and then of course from the motor we have the middle one and this one so I wanted to see those so that when I put it back together it's wired correctly so that's what I'm all about there and now I want to get those loose And I think they will just 
slide off. Yeah, we can see bits of the... See, even those round loops there. have had the biscuit. Let me back this up a bit. So there, that's the... Oh dear. That was a piece of the wiring cover. So... That's the, the light and the wiring from the light. That's the power from the receptacle foot pedal. And then we just have this and this from the motor. And there's a washer on these two. Where is the washer from the third one? It doesn't seem to be present. No, indeed. Oops, there's two of the washers there. So, where do I want to put those? Well, I will leave them on there for now. No, I won't. I'll put them in there. And I filmed it, so I'm reminding myself. And I'll put that up there, because I'm not going to play with that any further. I'll put that up there. And... This light is broken, right here, so, so that's a problem, and the wiring, the wiring is no good anyway, so I'll have to get in here. Oh, there's a couple of screws there, three I guess, two or three, three. So, and there's the switch there. So that's what's going on with that. We can put that back there. So now I have the, the motor. And I still haven't devised a way to, to take it apart. And because these are soldered. Let me, let me stand. I'm supposed to stay above that and not use it as a pointer. I'm supposed to use it as a pointer. So I don't know. I'm going to try again and see if I can just gently push that out. And I can't. And I can't. But it seems somehow slightly unusual to have to solder or unsolder. But I mean, it is messy when you look at it in here on the commutator and on the, you know, the wire. Brushings. I wonder if will that slide if I angle it? No. Okay, so then let me go to this end and let me look at this. See, there's a screw right there. There's a little screw. You see that? Right there. So I need to make a little screwdriver. And see if I can get any traction on that.
I don't think so. But there's only one. But there's only one. Is that small enough? You know what? I think it is. That would put it on. That should take it off. Let's see. You know what I need for that? I know what I need for that. I know exactly what I need for that. Let's try this. Maybe I'll have more success with it. Yes, I am. Sweet. Yes. Wonderful. Look at that grimy motor. I don't know how much of that you got. Sorry about that, you guys. I know I'm deadly. But look how grimy and dirty it is. So I'm going to be taking, uh, you know, the contact cleaner to that and that one as well. But at least I was able to to get in there and we'll be able to clean down there where the spindle goes we can see the grime and dust and grit see you know hands are a little dirty from these machines so wonderful I'm really happy that we were able to Get into the machine and we'll now be able to clean it. I'm going to put this screw back in there right now. Wow. It kind of fell right in there. I think it's in there loose. It is. It is in there loose. So. So what I'm going to do I'm going to take this plastic bag and all I'm going to do is put that pulley 
with the screw in there and the screws already fallen out in there and now they're together and I won't lose it and I need to move some of my tools out of the way don't I Yes. There. So I'm going to go and get both of these sprayed with the electronic contact cleaner and uh, do a little bit of a, a batch job here. But before I do that, we might as well watch me. Take this apart. And there's a screw there. Where are you? Are you with me? There. Yeah, it's loose. It's out, and there, that's come out. Beautiful. Beautiful, wonderful. We These are the wires from the pedal, or the switch. They're connected to this with these wire connects. There is a what's commonly referred to as a bottom bearing and it's got a little bit of rust on it. It's in need of some attention. So this is being filmed and just going to undo these. Like that, like that, oopsie daisy. Anyway. Good, this is on camera and in order to get those off I'm pretty much going to have to pretty much going to have to I think remove this. Are you with me my friends? Good. Okay, there now I can so there's the power to the lamp. Where's the power from the pedal? Oh well, I've got it all on film. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy. Gee whiz, I didn't even touch that one. <laughs> Where is it? Where'd he go?
Never mind, Jeb, get on with it. Okay, so there's the light. There's that. There's two of the three. This is going back in here for now. And then I'm going to get a bag of this box I dropped on the floor. Oh dear. So I'm going to put those in there. I'm going to put that in there. That's good. That's good. That I need. That I need. Excuse me. That. That. And I'll put those in there too. And then I want that other one that I dropped that I can't find right now. Is it under the drapes? Is that it there? No, oh, it's a bit of fluffer paper or something. Oh well. I know it's down there somewhere and I'm not going to forget. Because that will harangue me until it's resolved. So, so we're doing good. We got our dirty motors. We're going to saturate them in electronic contact cleaner. Then I'm going to sand the commutators with this 1000 grit wet dry uh, paper so and that's a great gentle all-purpose paper so that's where we're at with that so when I come back I'll be spraying both of these both of these motors and look at that this is coming right out just pulling it right out sweet Sweet, and there's a bushing in there. There's the grease port or whatever. Goes down to there so that this gets lubricated. I need to keep those separated so I don't mix these two things up. Are they pretty much the same? One's shorter than the other. <laughs> don't mix them up now. <laughs> So this is how I set it up in the kitchen. I get it clean and then I put down the, the towels here. And the next thing I'm going to do, I have the, the drain stopper and the drain. The next thing I'm going to do is put blue shop towels down there. Just like that. The next thing I'm going to do is get a one of my white storage, uh, plastic storage containers that I have parts in and pieces of sewing machines in and I turn it upside down and it gives me a good platform to work on and then I come in with my um, you know my my sieves and my strainers and all my other stuff that I need to uh, shower and uh, scrub the motors and then dry them and uh, and then if they need electronic uh, contact cleaner spray they'll get that too so that's how I set it up it's not a large kitchen everything I there's my tripod it just kind of stored out of the way for now it's not a, I don't have a large apartment but uh, I just want to share a little bit of this with you so that even if you have limited space you can still go ahead and uh, you know film uh, this is how I have it set up in my little kitchen here here's the motors and uh, some cleaning stuff there's the sink with a washing uh, container and some paper towels there's some strainers and brushes there's my tools I keep my tools in this this is the bottom of the portable case to the 414 G and it's handy for all my tools. I can just bring all, you know, most of the, these are not all my tools, obviously, but they're the day-to-day -day tools that I use fairly often. And uh, it's handy just to be able to take this back to my 
little studio uh, workshop in the in the other room. So that's how I've got it set up. Just wanted to to show you what's going on. I like to have it so that I can turn off my lights with the flick of a switch. Right? So those two lights went off and there they went back on again. There. So so I do set it up that way. Anyway, just wanted to uh, let you see how I how I do it. Hi there gals and guys. We're back in the uh, kitchen studio. What I have here is 100% crud cutter and here I've got the motor for the tan colored 306K and here I have the motor parts for Denny, the, the dark colored. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is wash these things and these things and that in the crud cutter and maybe let them soak for a couple of minutes and then get them cleaned up and then we'll get working on the rest of those things over there so uh, it's nice to be back in the kitchen studio for a change and it's nice to be doing motors again nice to be able to get these grubby motors uh, spick and span a little bit so without further ado let me get my little brush here and I'm just going to generously coat this with crud cutter. I'm not going to turn anything. I don't want to turn anything like if, for the bearings or whatever. I just want to get this crud cutter on there and then let it, I can either let it soak in there, which I might do for a bit, and then this one is really dirty as well. It's the dirtier of the two. Poor Dennis, the train wreck. It was living in a boat shed or someplace, garage or a boat shed or something, up on Rice Lake near uh, north of Coburg, Ontario. Gore, Gore Bay. Gore, is that what they call it? Gore Bay? On Rice Lake. So, it'll be nice to see how clean we can get it just with the first application which is the, the cred cutter and I'll let those sit for a bit I guess I could use the slightly larger container what have I got up here will these lie down in there no, they won't lie down in there either, but look at the gunk coming off there already. That's pretty nice. So, if that's the gunk coming off, then let me move my little wash tub out of the way. Get that. And I'll get my, my uh, strainer. I'll put these guys in there, or gals, they could be gals, I don't know. And I'm just going to wash them off with water. Oh, look at all the gunk coming off there. Isn't that nice? I guess I'll open it and let it, let it go. But the other thing that's really nice about this is knowing that, you know, it's not, it's not harming, it's organic. It's not harming anything. So now in this one, I just have dishwashing soap, dishwashing liquid. So it says H2O on soap, so it's going to have H2O on soap right now. I'll put those guys there. I'll get this brush. Now I'll really douse it in soap and water. Let me get you back over here so you can see what I'm doing. This is not the world's greatest, it's not supposed to be the world's greatest secret, even though I behave like it sometimes. But so that's that one.
that's that one. And now what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to get a toothbrush and I'm going to get some of this and rinse that off so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to put the dishwashing liquid right on it and then get the toothbrush onto it. Now I'm being very gentle. I'm not using a whole lot of pressure at this point, you know. So it is somewhat gentle. We've used the degreaser to cut through the grease that was full of dirt. Then we rinsed it off. Then we rinsed it in soap and water. And now we're giving it a little a little scrub. The more that we can get done in this preliminary stage here, the better off we are. So let me rinse this baby off. It'll be interesting to see once the video is done because then we see the difference. It's, I can already tell the difference, especially down here. And even on the commutator. But that's that one. And where's this one? It's right there. So I've got to get some soap on it. And I'm quickly going to give it a scrub. And then I'm going to get the hair dryer so that these don't flash rust or anything. Because then, then it's a lot of work. So, wash that off. Nice. Let's, oopsie daisy. Good catch, good recovery. Let's look at this one. Let's compare them. So you can see that the one that came out of Denny is still, so it's, it's not quite as red as the copper over here. But anyway, let me get the hair dryer before these go crazy. Go crazy rusty. <coughs> I will mute this out on editing, so I'm not going to be too worried about you folks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get my oven mitt, turn it on high and high, and get it dry and dry. What I ended up doing was drying both of these for about five minutes and I've got them pretty dry I think as far as I can feel and tell so this was the dirtier one it's still the dirtier one and this was the cleaner one 
maybe this was the dirtier one. But anyway, I've got this electrical contact cleaner. So without further ado, I'm just going to give it a, uh, a shower and I'm going to douse it in electrical contact cleaner and then just set it in there to allow the electric contact cleaner to evaporate off the, the motor parts. So for, uh, for the first move here, I'm just going to do these two and uh, we'll see what goes on here. Hopefully this will be pretty interesting. There, I'm just going to let them set for five to ten minutes. So in the end I just got these two with the electrical contact cleaner. I never did these, the other half of these or the or the bottom bearings like that one there that you can see down there. And uh, this one's really interesting because it has like a bottom bearing thing on that side and also that side. So that's where we're at now next time I'll uh, end up putting it back together but it was great to go through the process and uh, get into the kitchen and uh, give it a good give it a good rub-a-dub and uh, thanks for viewing and subscribing and I hope you uh, you were able to use some of the information that uh, that is on this little film. Ciao!